Next up, we have uh, Corey Doctorow. Corey, take it away. Corey Doctorow, <clears throat> he, him, uh, science fiction novelist, Electronic Frontier Foundation, Open University, UNC Library School, MIT Media Lab, and some other stuff. Um, we're at a crossroads. We can work to fix the internet or we can work to fix the platforms, but we can't do both. They're at a crossroads, uh, they're at cross purposes. Fixing the platforms means giving them duties like blocking harassment or other bad but legal speech and conduct. And that means giving them power. Fixing the internet means taking away power from the platforms by requiring them to make themselves interoperable. So you can leave a platform without leaving behind your friends. If we do this, we take away the platform's power to moderate us because we take away their power to lock us in. Put it this way, if you want to fix the platforms, it's because you think Mark Zuckerberg is the wrong person to control 2.6 billion users' online lives. But if you want to fix the internet, it's because you think no one should have that job. All right, Corey, back to Corey. Oh, hi. So we talked about uh, the idea of adversarial interoperability, that, that it's not just enough to mandate that one platform talk to another, but that we restore what was once very common where companies like Apple could clone Microsoft's uh, office formats or Facebook could get started by allowing you to log into MySpace with your Facebook account and get your, your MySpace messages and answer them from Facebook and how those companies that went up that adversarial interoperability ladder uh, kicked it away uh, or, or more, more to the point, dump boiling oil on anyone who tries to go up it these days. And what it would mean to create an interoperator's defense that uh, took away the hostages that we have today, that, that you know, people were gathered into these walled gardens with um, with interoperability and they're kept there by removing it. And so could we have a more pluralistic internet and could we deprive the dominant firms of the monopoly rents that they use to buy policy that favors them by opening up space for people to leave a platform while staying in touch with their friends? I'm gonna paste a link into this. Um, these, these are some case studies I wrote last year uh, and the year before of adversarial interop. And, and I'll note that we now call this competitive compatibility because our European director, Christoph, um, is German and, uh, and struggles with the phrase adversarial interoperability. It's like listening to a German say the word squirrel. So competitive compatibility is the one that we've gone with now. All right, great. Thanks, Corey. Thanks for bringing some of your work along as well. Really appreciate it.